in this era of AI technology, the Dr. William Samuel Ruto's social media propaganda machinery actually has crossed a red line. This is after yesterday's rally that actually happened in Kisumu that was portrayed as if a very large crowd of people actually attended and they were very, very happy about the meeting. What has actually been found out is that a lot of those images that were shared on social media were actually AI generated. So the narrative that is actually being advanced that the president has actually stamped his authority in Railamolo Odinga's uh, stronghold is actually unfounded and not true. Hello and welcome to the Socrato TV. I hope you are doing well wherever you are and I want to uh, welcome you again uh, at this platform where we dissect at issues in our society uh, so that uh, we can be of value. Now, yesterday when the president actually uh, was attending uh, for some kind of regional meeting in Kisumu, he had uh, a rally at a place called Kondele in Kisumu, where historically it has been known uh, that the place is very, very hostile to people who do not support Raila Amolo Odinga. And another thing that should also be understood for those who have been in Kisumu, Kondele is more of like a junction whereby there are many different activities that are there. So any crowd there is actually... Uh, I don't, it's not that he's the one who generated that crowd. Uh, the crowd is already there. So any politician who wants to enjoy the crowd uh, actually uh, uses that place. It's like in Gidurai in Nairobi. Now, uh, the president uh, portrayed uh, a lot of uh, images through his social media uh, platforms and his social media bloggers as to have captured the region, especially after Rigathi Gashagwa has ousted him from Mount Kenya region. However, very eagle-eyed or hawk-eyed Kenyans have discovered that this image, as you can see on your screen, were actually AI generated. Okay? So, as much as there could have been some people who actually attended uh, the rally or were or availed themselves for the rally, they were not that much as it was portrayed by the social media handlers of Dr. William Samaruto and even his own uh, social media account. I think this is very clear to show uh, that a government uh, that has clear disconnect with its people is now creating or using very false narrative to try and... Uh, create some kind of a deceptive or false popularity, okay? So, you know, when you are using AI to manufacture crowds and uh, portray that you have the largest support in the country, uh, in itself, that is to show that you are, uh, you, you, you are very desperate for support and uh, you are not only uh, weakening yourself, but you are also exposing uh, the deceptive tactics that you, you have been using all, uh, all the time. Eh? What is actually clear here uh, is that that strategy of manipulating images using AI and posting them has actually backfired very spectacularly uh, from the fact that now Kenyans have been made aware uh, that this was not really uh, as was portrayed an organic uh, crowd you know, when Rigadi Kashag was attending some functions in Mount Kenya region, we saw that the crowd was actually organic. Okay? The crowd was organic. People are just happy about him. And uh, you should also understand but that he did not offer anything. That is in terms of money or anything to uh, make those people really like him. And like the president, Dr. William Samueto, whom we, we have seen, people like uh, the senator of Kisumu, actually dishing out some cash to the Kisumu people uh, to try and uh, 
coerce them actually to attend uh, the meeting or the rally that the president had in Kisumu. So apart from the fact that the images were manufactured by AI, the uh, people who are who availed themselves in that rally had been bribed by some amount of money to make them uh, to avail uh, themselves. So this is a crowd that has not been earned. It is not an earned crowd. Uh, neither are the photos shared on the social media platforms actually true. They are lies and uh, uh, Kenyans should take them as such. So Kenyans have actually uh, been worried that, hey, the president is taking over uh, the other regions. Oh, will we really be able uh, to remove him from power in the year 2027? So this video is to uh, remove that uh, fear that was actually infiltrating to Kenyans to be 100% sure and aware that the ground is not really gone to Dr. William Samai Ruto. Something that is also very evident here is the literal levels or le the digital literacy in Kenyans to the extent that they are now able even to detect or identify images that have been generated by AI. So this literacy is very, very good and it is being used as a tool to fight against the propaganda and the state machineries moves which are mainly aimed at oppressing Kenyans and portraying the government in good light. Now Kenyans uh, should continue with the enhancing the digital literacy and this should not only be limited to images but it should even go further to other areas for instance uh, Kenyans should also be able to interpret uh, some kind of laws they should also interpret uh, the financial statements that are available the budget everything because it is very clear that people who are well educated and people who understand things can not be cheated okay so kenyans those who have that capability or skills to identify uh, false narratives false images false writing in fact we have seen some even the president a speech writer using ai to write speech and that has been exposed okay so kenyans are really always a step ahead of anything that is done by the government in bad faith as I come to the end of this analysis, I would like to appreciate the fact that now technology was, which was being used as a tool of lies or a tool to spread and propagate false narrative is now being used as a tool of the truth. So Kenyans, it is my humble appeal that we should actually uh, work within our constitutions to ensure that even these technological devices or technological capabilities and understanding, we use them in the right way. We use them to ensure we expose lies and not in the wrong way as the KK bloggers are doing uh, to try to sell the president's uh, uh, crowds which are not there. So as I come to the end, let me also tell all who are new to our channel to take a second subscribe so that any moment we release this kind of content youtube will always not fail until we meet again bye bye